and day seven um, is um, you know when 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 the auction ends and um, and and you find a buyer, so you contact the uh, the winning bidder, okay, and um, and you ask for a non-refundable um, earnest money, okay, non-refundable earnest money. You want to get as high as you can, but depending on the price of the home, um, for for wholesale deals, uh, you know, I, I normally, especially if I haven't done dealt with that buyer before, um, I normally require a uh, a two thousand um, dollars non-refundable earnest money for me to sell it to them. Um, if I have done business with them before, then I'll lower it, or if it's a, like a it's like a, a, a usual buyer, then you know, a lot of time I don't even require an owner's money at all because I know he's going to close on it. You know, we already built that trust. Um, but uh, but the highest that you can because this is where the first time you get paid. You know, so if you can get the buyer to pay you two thousand dollars owner's money, then 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 if you look at the entire process, you actually get paid on day seven, um, and then you get the rest of your pay when it closes. Right, I don't care about that when I'm auctioning it. Um, because uh, you know, I worry about that the day after because I want. Right now, I just want them to drive up prices. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so I'll go through the entire thing, and then if I find out, you know, once the auction ends, and um, and 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 you know, and and either they couldn't get a loan or they they changed their mind. Then I go to the second highest bidder, and then the you know, and if that still doesn't work, I go to the third highest bidder. Uh, typically, when you do one of these auctions, you will end up with two to three very serious buyers. Like that example of the two hundred and ten thousand dollar home, um, we actually sold it to the second buyer. Um, the first one, not because he can't get a loan, he chickened out. His wife really wanted this house, but he, um, the husband. Um, the the, uh, the you know the, the husband felt like he wasn't ready for such a big house, um, and so um, you know so 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 they backed out of that, and um, and so we end up selling it to the second highest bidder. And what's really interesting is this: the second highest bidder actually owned another home in that neighborhood, um, and, and which you're going to find a lot. You know, a, a lot of the houses that we sell, the buyers are the ones that are living in that proximity because now they want to upgrade or they were renting now they want to own uh, so so you know so local marketing gets really good buyers and um, and 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 yeah and so the, the 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 buyer that we sold it to bought our house and then put theirs on the market to sell it okay um, it depends depends on your buyer uh, you know, some landlords do use conventional loans. Some of them use private lenders. Some use uh, lines of credit. It really depends. Um, now, if you're talking about an owner-occupant buyer, then yeah, a lot of time they they'll they'll use a con conventional loan. Right. Yeah, you, you, you definitely can do that. Like in, in terms of selling leads, uh, you, can have a, uh, you can have a mortgage broker um, at the event and, and, and you make a deal with the mortgage broker and says, look, I'm going to do this uh, auction and I'm going to spend X amount in marketing. If you pay for that marketing dollars, I will let you be the person who, um, you know, who, who qualify all of these buyers and you can keep the leads for yourself and make money that way. Uh, you can also have a real estate agent there to do the showing for you. Uh, and same thing, you said, look, you know, you, you help in with the marketing costs and you can have those buyer leads for free. Or you can sell those leads. I, I used to sell these type of leads to real estate agents for 20 to $25 per lead. Um, and so you definitely can do that too, you know. Um, No, no, um, no. It's not a binding agreement. Um, 
not until you actually sign a contract. For for right for for that for that particular house, I used lots of signs. I must have put out like two hundred signs. Uh, I used newspaper ads, um, and I and then all of the people who call me from from my signs and my ads, um, the, uh, the 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 Friday evening the 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 auction well the viewing date is Saturday and Sunday. So on Friday evening, I did a voice broadcast to all of them to remind them about the auction. So that's what I did for that house. Um, if, if you're in a neighborhood where signs um, get picked up really fast by either the homeowner association or by, um, or by the, um, the uh, city, then you want to use postcards and ma mail out to all of the neighbors in, in that neighborhood and you know, offer them to... Uh, Often to even pay them a referral because a lot of times the, the neighbors, you know, they have they have relatives, you know, um, that 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 they want to move in with them or they, you know they um, whatever the case might be, uh, friends that they want to move in. So uh, so do signs if if your signs doesn't stay out, then do postcards. Oh, I just tell them this is the standard of how we do business. <coughs> yeah, this is how we normally do it. <laughs> this is how we normally do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is how we normally do it. Yeah, you want the house. I mean, this, this is how we normally do it. Uh, the only time when, when I give in to them like that is like, I just don't have any other option. But when you tell people this is how we normally do it, this is the standard ways. People always accept that. Um, what, what do you tell to the buyer to get them to give you the earnest money and not the title company? Well, first of all, most buyers don't even know that they're supposed to turn it to a title company. Most buyers don't know that. Unless they have a real estate agent, then it's really the agent that's complaining. Um, and so, so, so most buyers don't know that. And so you can just tell them, this is how we normally do it. You know, it's nothing new. This is a standard contract, so we normally do it. Um, and even if it's not normal, just by saying that, people assume that it is normal. In your contract, you said it's not refundable, right? Right, right. Um, the, uh, well, and, and it depends on the type of buyers, because um, you know, if, if it's a buyer that's getting like a conventional loan, um, then I say you're um, not non-refundable uh, except uh, for 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 loan qualification, so for, if they try to back up for any other reason, then they can't. Um, but these are investors. Um, investors are pretty used to paying earnest money directly. They they're not the type that is going to say, "Well, I want to turn to the title company." You do come into a situation where where you know where you have to submit the earnest money to the title company then you make sure that the buyer signs the release of that earnest money ahead of time and turn it to the title company. So that way, um, so that way you know, if they back out on it, the title company doesn't have to go back to the seller to, to go back to the buyer to get them to sign the release of earnest money. Once, once the, what happens is this, and a lot of you probably don't under, the, probably I lost you when I said that. When you submit your earnest money to the title company, the title company is, it, acts as an escrow agent and holds that money. And regardless what, what the contract says, that it's supposed to go to the seller or it's supposed to go to the buyer, they still need both parties to sign a release of earnest money. And on that paper, it directs who it's going to go to. So you don't want to wait until the deal blows up to try to get the buyer to sign that release of earnest money. You want to get it ahead of time. Otherwise, you have to go to court, yeah, which is not worth 2,000 bucks to go after that. Yeah, or, yeah, but so it's, it's, it's much better you, either you collect it yourself, um, you know, now, now if you default, if for some reason you, 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 know, you default, make sure you give it back. I mean, don't go spend it too quickly. <laughs>
uh, but um, you know, but but yeah, if, if you do submit it to the title company, then just get them to sign the release of earnest money early.